This is the Husqvarna S2800 gauge uh, splitting axe. I've had this for, I'm going to say 11 months, 11 months guys. There's a lot of questions coming in about this and a lot of people asking me to put my opinion down and to get it out there. And guys, this is it. As you can see, it splits really, really nice, okay? But this wood is easy to split. This is this is sycamore. Uh, it's it's quite easy to split. It has its moments, of course, like everyone, but it's quite easy to split. So let's have a look at it, okay? And let's talk about the specs. Let's talk about what it is. Okay, so, guys, I've, I got this to do a video, a comparison video between this and the X25, which is the, the, the Fiskars X25, guys, okay? Now, in the comparison video, and I'll link it, guys, I'll link it up here. In the comparison video, this was absolutely a hands-down winner, guys. It was just far superior. Uh, and the reason being is the weight and the balance is what I found. Now, I got the two of them because they were the same length, okay? So this weight, this is the, I call it the S2800 because it's S and it's uh, it's 2800 grams and that's the weight and that's the weight of the entire axe and it's 2300 grams for the head weight guys now the balance on this thing okay make it want to fall it just swings really really nice the swing ability i'm going to say guys it has a hammer pawl on the back but this is not for steel wedges, this is only for plastic wedges. It's a seven, 70 centimeter handle, and this is something that originally was a little bit of an off put for me, was that it was so short. And this, this, is, this is just an old axis laying about. Normally when I'm using, you know, my handle, my handle is at least that much bigger than. But to tell you the truth, guys, I am, starting to use this more and more and more okay it is it's one of these things right it has an overstrike protection and stuff like that that doesn't really bother me guys it has one of these fiberglass reinforced polymer type whatever it is handles guys it has a lifetime guarantee and it bites deep and it splits well and it swings so nice so nice guys like it it's hard to describe when, when you put this up against the Fiskars, there was no comparison. This was just a nicer axe. Everything about it was nicer, you know. Uh, the weight is definitely a help. Uh, at the moment, 64 pounds sterling, probably 64.99, is, is the price that they're coming in at, right? And this, is why I find it so useful, right? This is why, uh, first of all, I love my classic. You know, nice steel head, wooden handle, all that, guys. Yes, love it, it's absolutely fantastic. But I'm never gonna take my halter for splitting axe or splitting sledge and chuck it in the back of the truck and leave it there, you know, for the off chance that I might need it. You know, pull it out and use it. Uh, but this, yep, yeah, it's capable, it's light, it swings well, okay? The handle is not gonna rot, okay? The handle is very, very strong. And I found out, guys, it has a lifetime guarantee. The blade is coated, okay, to prevent it from sticking in the wood and stuff like that. And there has been no issue with the coating coming off. It works very, very well. Guys, overall, I am very happy with this axe overall. There's only one drawback that I can see, guys, and it's not a super, super issue, but I'm gonna see if I can show you. Okay, guys. It chips quite easy. Not quite easy. 
but I have noticed it chipping. Now, what what happened to it is, is that I was I, I came off the side of a log and I went into one of these hex bolts that is actually in underneath my tire that's holding my tire on. Uh, and that was way back at the start, guys. But you know what? You know it. It takes an edge very, very well. It's quite sharp out of the box as well. And I have felled trees with this, and this thing, oh my God, it <laughs> it cuts down trees very, very well. Guys, overall, I'm really happy with this. I'm really, really happy with this. I still much prefer this over the, 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 the Fiskars X25. So you guys that are thinking about getting one, yes, I recommend it, okay? All day long, twice on a Sunday. Thanks for watching. I'll split some wood. Right, piece of sycamore, quite naughty. It's a Y branch as well. There's a knot there, a knot there, a Y branch. See what I mean? <laughs> Guys, it splits well. It splits really, really well. Unfortunately, I don't have anything that is super, super difficult to split here at the minute. You're just going to have to take my word for it. Stay frosty. Oh, one thing, it's really good at splitting on the flat. What's splitting on the flat, Wally? Like this, probably won't split now because I'm saying that. <laughs> See? Did it split? Yeah, check it out. 